Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Shi Zai Yang from BAFIC COA Taiwan. As we all know that uh, the international trade maximizes the profit of a plant product such as dragon fruits, and the quarantine is a critical issue in international trade. So today it's my pleasure to introduce you the quarantine requirements for the importation and exportation of dragon fruit in Taiwan. In this talk, firstly, I will briefly introduce the Quarantine Execution Agency of Taiwan and use dragon fruit as a case to introduce the Export and Import Quarantine Inspection of Taiwan. BAFIC, Bureau of Animal and Plant Health Inspection and Quarantine, Council of Agriculture Executive Yuan, is the MPPO, which means the National Plant Protection Organization of Taiwan. BAFIC established in 1998. The aim of this bureau is to maintain the health of animals and plants, agricultural product safety, and ensuring the food safety of produce. BAFIC executes the plant quarantine inspection, and the execution follows the international regulations such as WTO, SPS agreements, and ISPM, International Standards for Phytosanitary Measures of IPPC, International Plant Protection Convention. And our national regulations such as Plant Product, sorry, Plant Protection and the Quarantine Act, and so on. So next, let me briefly introduce you the quarantine requirements of exportation. When export the consignment with quarantine requirements, the exporter declares to BAFIC and to meet the requirements of importing country, sometimes the consignment must be treated with this infestation quarantine treatment, for example, heat or cold treatment to eliminate the target pest or under other process to make sure the consignment is free from pest. Then BAFIC verifies the, the, the documents and confirms the statement of the consignment in compliance with requirements of importing country. And then BAFIC issues the Phytosanitary Certificate, or PC. Take Taiwan's dragon fruit, or pitaya, exported to Japan as a case. Because the oriental fruit fly, Bactrocera docellis, is a highly concerned quarantine pest of Japan, and it's distributed in Taiwan. To export the white flesh pitaya, we applied for market access to Japan by using the vapor heat treatment to eliminate the oriental fruit fly on 2003. And in this case, it takes about seven years to finalize the whole application process. You can see the timeline. Firstly, we conducted the, uh, the disinfestation test and went through the on-site verification process and so on. On 2010, the first batch of white flesh pitaya exported to Japan under vapor heat uh, treatment, or we call it VHT. And you can see this is one of our pitaya or dragon fruit VHT facility, as well as packing house. All the quarantine treatments and inspection process are conducted in the house. 
and for the import quarantine regulation and inspection for the for the import sorry for the import quarantine regulation and inspection it can be divided into three parts firstly if there is a market access application from an export country we conduct the pest risk assessment pra to decide that the planned product is prohibited to, sorry is prohibited to be imported or enterable under precautionary requirements then on the border when import the inspectors qualify if the consignments meet the quarantine requirements if not the consignment may be under uh, quarantine treatment or destroy or reshipment and finally the on-site verification inspectors verify the qualification of pre-shipment treatment like uh, VHT treatment or pre-clearance in the export country so take the importation of Vietnam's pitaya as an example. Because of the concerned pest of Taiwan, Bactrocera correcta, after the PRA and legal process, Vietnam's pitaya can be imported in compliance with Taiwan's quarantine requirements. And the fruits need to be went through vapor heat treatment. As I mentioned before, the on-site inspection will be conducted to verify the facility sanitary and the VHT equipment, uh, including, like I said, uh, sanitary and the temperature rec recorder correction and so on. So by verifying the VHT vapor heat treatment process and confirming the preclearance inspection, storage and packing of the consignment meet the quarantine requirements. Vietnam's pitaya can be imported into Taiwan. That's the, the introduction of quarantine requirements of pitaya in Taiwan. Thank you very much.